The European Space Agency will shortly be making its eighth long-duration mission to the International Space Station. Tim Peake from England will spend five months in orbit, carrying out 30 experiments on behalf of ESA, as well as international research projects. So we'd set up the Columbus VCA as usual. Named Principia after Isaac Newton's groundbreaking text on motion and gravity, the mission has a special emphasis on education. The logo was designed by the winner of a competition held by a British children's television show. We had thousands of entries for this mission patch competition and thousands of entries for the mission name competition, Principia, as well. And I've just been uh, amazed at how everybody really has been engrossed and excited by this mission. Peak will be launched from Baikonur in Kazakhstan on board a Russian Soyuz vehicle. He's scheduled to reach the ISS in around six hours. He'll be traveling alongside NASA's Tim Kopra and Russian cosmonaut Yuri Malenchenko, with whom he acted as backup crew for the Expedition 44 flight back in July. Once on board, they'll be involved with the day-to-day -day running of the station, a hugely complex procedure which requires every crew member to be flexible in their responsibilities. So much of our work up there is determined by the visiting vehicle traffic and that's a very dynamic phase because we're not quite sure exactly which vehicles are going to arrive when and we get trained on how to do tasks that, that may be planned six months ahead of our mission and maybe planned six months after our mission so that should there be some flex and those activities fall within our increment then we're trained and we're ready to do those as well. Tim Peake's schedule of experiments includes studies in material science, physiology and astrobiology. The results will have important implications for industry and medicine back on Earth and will also play a role in developing future spaceflight missions. Educational aspects of Principia are focused on participation, which includes school children being invited to design data collecting apps and communicate with Peake using amateur radio. Spending you know, a few months on board the International Space Station is a really privileged position to be in. And so I'm very keen to maximize that opportunity. And as well as doing all of this important science, I also really want to try and share this mission as much as possible with everybody. And that includes educational outreach that will just hopefully open people's eyes to the world of science and engineering and show that there are some fantastic careers to be had if you choose those paths. For ESA, Brinkapia will mark both the first flight of a British citizen and another step in the continuation of its involvement with the ISS. Europe's regular presence in space means valuable experience for future missions and inspiration for those who will design and take part in them.